Hi everybody, I'm out on this beautiful, beautiful day and I'm a very lucky boy to be on a permission that I've wanted for a long time. It's right next to a church, a lot of history. The churchyard has round walls so no evil spirits can uh, hide in the corners. This is a very high signal, so I thought I was live dig at 90s, 80s, 90s. No clue what that is, because I don't know the ace apex very well. And I don't know how many hours I've had on it so far, but quite a few. One cent. Uh, it's got a hole in it. <laughs> um, no way. Uh, okay. The sun's not out to show you, but that's um, why well, I never thought I would do. Well, you just don't think you're going to dig one like this, do you? Sorry, I'm trying to get you out of the wind. 18 something or other, 1849. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit speechless with that. Yeah, it's definitely one cent. I'll clean that up and we'll take a look at it later. Uh, I don't know what they call them. You know, I know they said maiden heads or. Um, different things I can't remember what this is but that's um it's incredible sorry guys I'm a bit speechless at the moment because I wasn't expecting that uh, I'm so happy I live dug that that was very high numbers I uh, see you at the next moving on Does anybody need a spanner? Uh, I'm guessing that's some kind of old tractor spanner. Incredible. Yeah, moving on. Well, I'm still in shock over that American coin right at the beginning. That's kind of a cool little party fact to find. It's a um, piece of a, a spoon, I would guess. Normally a spoon. Sorry, the wind. Um, yeah, it's not precious metal or anything, it's just the end. But I do like to find them. Could use that, I guess, as a bicycle lever, tire lever. Yeah. Mm. Moving on. I'm going to try another live dig. Jumpy numbers. 70s and, you know it's nowhere near as high as that um, first American coin I mean the Garrett Ace Apex is an American machine so it's kind of fitting in a way that I'm using an American machine in, in the UK picking up American coins which was not at all what I was expecting I have to say it's got some depth to it this little machine I'm not a huge fan of it because um, it gets confused. It's not so good with the target ID as some of the others. 
and I'm going to upset some people with that. And yes, perhaps I don't have the best coil on, or could make some adjustments to it. I know that. Yeah. Don't know where that is. Could be iron sometimes. Oh, is, that, is that a stone or is that? Probably a stone. Trying not to kneel down. Oh, it's a deep target. It's, I would think that's going to be iron. Let's see if we can get down to it. Yeah, we're on. It looks like iron. So yeah, go. Might have sounded good, perhaps because it was a, a link, but it couldn't pick up that that was iron. Um, no iron sat tones at all, whereas with some of the other machines, the Cruiser and the Deus 2 that I use, that would have told me that, that was iron. Perhaps would have given me good numbers with a bit of a grunt. Anyway, I'll shut up now. <laughs> Moving on. Kind of a cool little find. It's a piece of lead with a hole in it. Uh, I don't think it's a spindle wheel, I think it's just a, a lead weight. Um, but yeah, kind of cool. Moving on. Well, that's a very cool little find. MW Animations, I know you love these little buttons, but it's got like a star pattern on it. That's beautiful. Um, detector got it fine. I find it difficult to find with the uh, pinpointer. It's a Nocta Macro, one of the um, pulse dive rechargeable ones. And that's a reasonable size button. It shouldn't have struggled to find that, but um, I'm also not a fan of that as a pinpointer. But uh, the Nocta pointer, brilliant. The pulse dive, mm, not so much. Anyway. Perhaps I'll do a review of these two um, pin pointers, give you guys some ideas. Moving on. Let's try another live dig. 76, 77, nice stable. Nice stable target. Do you reckon aluminium? Tin can again. I've seen those numbers being a coke can before or some other similar or other brands are available obviously uh, maybe it's too good to be true it's out and I don't see a coke can that's not it is it no let's have a look Lumpo Leto. Okay. Oh, but that's okay. I don't mind that. Cool. Let's see you next. Well, I can see something in the hole. Just had a signal. 70s. It doesn't like that at all. Okay. Why not? It's slightly at an angle. That's why it's struggling with it. 60s, 70s. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just a piece of wire, that's why it doesn't like it. Okay. Just saw the, the sort of edge there and I thought it might have been a coin, but no. Fooled me. Moving on. Well, 68. Although it wasn't a very stable signal when I first found it. But in the 60s, 70s, and I think, I'm pretty sure that's got to be another coin. 
Oh, look at that. One wiper. Well, almost. It's a beautiful Queen Victoria bonnet. Oh, wow. The detail on that is incredible. Uh, the edges are breaking away, unfortunately. So it is going a bit brittle. Look at the back of it. 1875 to one penny. That's a beauty. Yeah. Wow. Very cool. Moving on. So a quick wrap up to a short hunt in a new permission which I was very excited to get. Um, I can't say as I found that much because I only had a short time out there. There are the usual random bits of lead. I have no idea what this is. It's heavy. But is this, I mean is it copper? It's obviously a piece of something bigger but I don't know what that is. A piece of a, a probably a spoon as they usually are. don't know if this is a weight or if it's a worn down um, spindle wheel or something like that. Not sure exactly what that is. Uh, a totally smooth, I guess, Georgian coin, half penny or something like that. I can't see anything on it. Buttons, as usual, I like to find buttons. Yeah. A rather nice, although the edges are going on this, a rather nice 1875 uh, Victoria bun head. And the pièce de la résistance is this amazing. Uh, it's on my bucket list, or at least it is now. It wasn't before. You just don't expect to find one in the middle of nowhere in the countryside in in Wales. So there we go, 1849 braided hair, um, yeah, what can I say? Uh, I, I guess even some of my American viewers, these are one of the coins that you guys hope to find, and I find one in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's amazing, I'm very happy with it, and I really appreciate you watching. Short hunt, short wrap up, take care, have fun, and I'll speak to you all soon.